Hey there, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel, Glam with Suzanne. For those that are new, thank you so much for stopping by. And today's video is going to be a fun little hair tutorial. I'm gonna show you a super easy wig install. It's actually the hair that I'm wearing right now. I decided to style it, cut it, do all those fun things in this video for you guys. And they are having an amazing Black Friday sale. This hair is from Youth Beauty. We have lots to talk about in this video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. And babes, you know what it is. If you are not part of my YouTube family, what are you waiting for? All I have to do is smash the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell notification so you don't miss when I upload a brand new video. I do a lot of makeup tutorials on here, a lot of hair tutorials on here, so be sure to join my YouTube family and follow me on my Instagram page, Glam with Suzanne and Boxy Charm Sneak Peek. So without further ado, let's chit chat about this hair. It's from a company called Youth Beauty Hair, and this hair came packaged so beautifully. It was so, so nice to be able to work with this hair. You could really tell that they care about how they package it and present it to you because honestly it gives you a really great little storage case for the hair as well and the hair is just super silky soft and so thick and so luxurious but very very affordable and that's the key thing they are having a massive sale for black friday and i really wanted to partner up with them in this video to show you this hair and talk a little bit about their amazing sale but for now we are going to jump right into today's tutorial and that will be a voiceover portion just so i could really get into the nitty-gritty about how i install my wigs and how i style the hair so let's go ahead and roll the clip Hey babe, so let's just jump right into today's tutorial. This is how the hair comes packaged. It comes in a satin bag with a zipper. I absolutely love this because it's great for keeping the moisture in the wig itself and not letting it get really tangly. And it's a great little way to kind of store your wig away when you're not wearing it. It does have a little hanger with clips, which is absolutely perfect. And this is great for traveling with as well. It does come with a little edge control brush um, and it does come with a wig cap. So I went ahead and actually bleached the knots of this wig. This wig is a T-part front lace wig. It is 180% density. This is straight hair. I love how thick the ends are, absolutely gorgeous. You could just tell that this hair is super full and it is 22 inches in length, so you get tons and tons of length. Now I'm just showing you the hairline and guys, I am so impressed. I did go ahead and bleach the knots prior to showing this to you because I really wanted it to be ready to wear. Now, bleaching the knots is absolutely optional. You don't have to do this, but I do find that's the best way to make the wig look realistic so you don't have the little black dots. And I'm just showing you the interior of this wig, and it is a lace on the inside. It is a T-part lace, like I mentioned. There are clips already in it, so it's super easy to install. You could wear this glueless, so keep that in mind, guys. I'm choosing to glue it down because I know that I'm gonna wear it for a few days. But it's great that in the sense that you could just throw it on and just adjust the clips and you're ready to go. But for this situation, I'm just measuring the lace area out because I will be gluing it down and trimming the lace. It's important that you take your time with this and you don't rush the process because you don't want to cut off too much lace. And now I'm just taking the bold hold glue and placing that onto the areas that I'm going to glue down. This glue is absolutely amazing because it's sweat proof, waterproof, and honestly has a great grip and hold and it dries down clear. The one thing is it can be a little bit pricey, so you could use an alternative, especially if you're just using it for short-term wear. You could definitely use the Got To Be Glue Gel. Now I'm just taking the back end of my brush and just pushing that glue onto the lace and then cutting the lace on either side of the forehead so we create little flaps so it's easier to trim later on and be careful when you're cutting around your ear you don't want to cut off too much lace because it's really important that you don't overdo this in case you want to wear the hair up you want it to look as natural as possible now i'm picking up some of the got to be glue gel and just placing that over the side areas because i don't like to use a really intense glue in those areas because it will pull out the hairline and i'm just wrapping it with a little silk scarf and then i'm going to let the glue really set in place for about 30 minutes you don't necessarily need that much time, but that's how much time it usually takes me to get ready anyways. So I just place down the little satin tie down and just give it a little bit of time. Now I'm back and it should be set. So I'm just going to go ahead and undo the silk scarf and we are going to be trimming off the excess lace. Now it's important to notice that as you are taking a look at the glue, it should have dried down a little bit clear. Of course, you may have to adjust in certain areas, but overall this looks pretty darn good. And now I'm just trimming the excess lace and I'm trying to go as close to my hairline 
as possible because we don't want too much lace to be exposed. We want the hairline to look as natural as possible, so it's important to go ahead and cut that lace in a little bit more of a jagged line if possible because that's going to give you the most natural looking hairline. And honestly, this lace just melts into the skin. As you guys could tell, it doesn't look any darker or anything like that. It just seems to melt right into the glue and really hold on. And I absolutely I love the way that this is looking so far. So now we are trimming off all the sides of the lace. And keep in mind, guys, I did not pre-pluck this wig. It came plucked already. You could go ahead and pluck a little bit more if you'd like, but I'm just going in with a little bit of concealer. And the concealer will help make the scalp look realistic as possible. You don't want to overdo this, but simply just take a concealer that you would normally wear for under your eyes and just apply it with a really thin brush. Now I'm sectioning out little areas in the front and I kind of want to create a little bit more of a layer. Let's just call it a really long curtain bang almost. So I'm just going ahead and trimming it so off. So I'm just creating longer layers in the front of my face to frame my face. And when I go ahead and do that, I feather the ends just to make sure that they look as natural as possible. And I'm just taking it along the front of the area of the wig as well, just so it looks a little bit more natural. And then going ahead and bumping that front part as well on either side. And this is going to look really gorgeous, especially when you curl your hair. The more layers that you have, the more natural the wig will look and it won't look as wiggy. That would be one of my tips for you guys. So I'm just working it through the hair. And then I realized, you know what? I kind of want to have a cute little pigtail moment. So I'm taking tiny elastics and putting them through. And then I decided that I want it a little bit further back. So I'm just taking a secondary elastic and sectioning off the hair and tying it off as well. And this is the perfect little kind of almost early 2000s feel. Um, but I really love the way this hairstyle came out. And I'm just taking my time with this because it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, but you could always also add a little bit more volume to the hair by going ahead and tightening it up. And you'll have, notice a little bit more of a bounce at the root. And this is what it looks like. Super cute. And I am so impressed with the volume of this hair. You could do so many different hairstyles and it's super affordable. And the hair feels super, super silky. I'm super impressed with this wig. So babes, that brings us to the end of today's tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It was really super easy to install and style this hair. I absolutely love this hair from Youth Beauty. So if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It would mean the world to me. And comment down below with the next hairstyle that you want me to try out. And I'm thinking along the lines of a new hair color even. So comment down below and give me some hair inspo because I'm always looking for some. And be sure to check out Youth Beauty hair. They have so many different hairstyles. They have some straight hair, they have curly hair, wavy hair. There's definitely something for everyone. And and this sale is so amazing so you want to make sure that you take advantage before it's gone so i want to thank you guys so much for spending your time with me and i cannot wait to see you guys on another video very very soon bye babes